the numbers that were involved last year, the intensity over such a short space of time is certainly unique in the history of Myanmar, but it's not unique in terms of the experience of so many other ethnic minorities. The simple fact is that human rights violations are widespread and that much of what has happened to the Rohingya has been experienced as well by other ethnic minorities. Myanmar cries out for a total solution, one that embraces the whole country and doesn't just seek to address the problems of any individual minority group. And that's the case because the whole country is in human rights crisis. Part of the solution is justice, ensuring that those who are responsible for what has happened to them and to so many others in Myanmar are brought to justice and held accountable for their actions. Um, this is one of the most important tasks facing the fact-finding mission. The Rohingya population had been driven out in 1992, in the 80s, in the 70s, and they were just driven out. But this time there was this kind of aggravated sexual violence, and, and our report tries to deal with that by saying that points to quite a high level, uh, a grave international crimes. Um, and, the, and the women who, who spoke came from all classes, which was another thing that struck us, from the very poor Rohingyas to those wearing, because they were going to meet a UN representative, they all wanted to turn up in their best. Uh, so that really touched me, you know, so they were also wearing their jewelry, the richer ones. Um, so it touched all classes. Uh, and I must say I was deeply, uh, deeply, deeply affected by that, all, all those testimonies in October. This would be perhaps while ending the FFM work would only be the beginning of a long process of an accounting uh, exercise to determine the culpability of perpetrators uh, who would be most responsible for what took place in August of last year. We hope that therefore the truth will finally come out. We have interviewed more than 700 uh, uh, persons, victims in fact, and these are the, uh, the, precisely the very people that we would have met uh, if we had been given access to Myanmar. So one cannot say that this is uh, made up uh, facts uh, by the fact-finding mission because uh, had we been given access to the, uh, to the country and met with the very same people, we would have come out with the same facts and the same truth.